Well, I have with me Mary and Mary. <laughs> On our right, their left, we have Mary Girl, former candidate for lieutenant governor of Kansas, a libertarian candidate that is, and very exciting. She's very soon to announce that she's running for county commissioner. Mary Girl, thanks for doing that and thanks for being here. Yeah, Wyandotte County. Wyandotte Kansas. County, Kansas. Yeah. And to our left, their right, we have. Dr. Mary Ruart, uh, what is there to say so much? She's influenced so many people in the liberty movement, including myself. And it's uh, just thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Healing Our World, uh, short answers to tough questions. And the latest book, if we could please, yes. Death by Regulation, specifically on, tilt it just a little further because there's a glare, uh, the pharmaceutical industry, but it applies very much to healthcare in general. Um, so we are here in the Seattle area. Well, first of all, thank you. Thank you very much for, yeah. for being here. Uh, we are here at the King County Convention, and Mary Ruart was our uh, keynote speaker and talked quite a, uh, let's see, the, the takeaways I had were how important uh, speaking with principle, articulating the non-aggression principle, educating people about the non-aggression principle, and how important that is going forward. <laughs> Dr. Ruhr, could you feel free to just tell us the same stuff you already talked about <laughs> or expand on that, please? Sure. Well, you know, when I go into the classroom and I ask students what kind of government they want, if they could choose, I ask them, do you want the minority to rule the majority, the majority to rule the minority, or everyone to rule themselves as long as they don't initiate physical force brought them against others? And to my surprise, after 10 years of doing this, about 10 times a year, I can say with certainty that 90 to 100% of the students raised their hand for the libertarian principle of non-aggression, which of course is everyone should rule themselves as long as they don't initiate physical force, fraud, or theft against others. But I haven't told them yet <laughs> that it's the libertarian philosophy because I want them to answer one more question, and that is, how do you perceive Mm -hmm. I give them the same three choices, and almost nobody will raise their hand for the libertarian principle. Yeah. So their hearts and their uh, instincts tell them that the non-aggression principle is the way to go. Uh, but they also recognize, and these are students, college and high school, they recognize very clearly that our government's not act that way at all. Thank you. Yeah. Mary Girl, uh, show, your button is just sideways. Oh, so let's yeah. show, show everybody your porcupine button there. Yeah, Thank good. you. Libertarian. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And as a uh, recent candidate and upcoming local candidate, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Okay. What are your thoughts on how you can promote and spread that message through your campaign? Obviously, you're going to win. I know you're going to win. But in the off chance win. you don't win... How can you use the campaign to promote that message? Well, uh, in the last campaign that I did as the lieutenant governor candidate, that was something that became very important to me that I learned was important in running. That, um, you know, it's the campaign, it's not about me. It's about why I'm running and what I stand for. And um, I feel like, doing this campaign last time since I was a lieutenant governor candidate, I was really running in somebody else's campaign. I was running kind of as a partner with somebody else. This time I'll be running on my own. And I want to take the lessons that I learned from that, that big campaign that I was in partnership with someone into doing my own and, and um, leading with the principal first. And, um, and that was why what you said today, um, just now, and and during the convention that, you know, I was like, oh, yes, that is so, you know, because that just resonates with me really hard that the, the principle is what comes, it's what we're all bursting with, you know, the, mm -hmm. those of us who, who feel this way. And so I really want to let that shine forth in what I'm doing. Even though I'm going to be in a nonpartisan race, I think I can still let that message come out and win hearts and minds. Mary, do you have any advice for Mary? Oh, I think she's got it down pretty well. You know, your passion comes out when you speak about the non-aggression principle. 
when you talk about your candidacy. And that's that's what people want to hear. That's what they read.